Hey, eh? Welcome back to some more Digimon World 2. In the last episode, we ranked up in the Coliseum, we beat the web domain, and then we went to check in with Angemon, or at that uh, dome that we found out about, uh, and we gained access to the modem domain, which is where we're getting back to right now. Last episode, we we got a few things uh, happening with our Digimon. We did managed to fuse quite a few. That's right, we have Tappy to Tapiamon as well. It was only level... Well, he's level 2 right now. But yeah, hopefully we can level him up as we continue to try and progress. Boyo, Mark, both up to the champion point. Metal, who is going to chill in the back. And on the server we have Genta, another Tentamon. Also, we have like 5,000 bits, so let's go ahead and buy ourselves some new parts or upgrades at least. Let's see what's available. Nothing new really. What I might do though is... We bought the ring ties last, I believe. I can do is get the shovel arm and the magnet hand. Now let's transfer those items actually into the Digi Beetle so we can use them. Uh, wherever they are. Over here. And shovel arm. Now let's go ahead and get those parts equipped. We're going into assemble. Entire shovel arm and now we have a choice between mech hand or magnet hand. Magnet hand obviously being the stronger one we're gonna go for. Obviously we can't afford to upgrade anything right now, but uh, well, we can upgrade the arc cannon, the bug sweep, and the bug sweep. And now I believe we have, yep, we have the mech hand in our inventory, so I'm going to go ahead and sell that. Not that we need the money so much as uh, we don't need the mech hand anymore. Alright, cool. And with that, we're gonna head off to the modem domain. Been a few days since I last got the chance to play, so I'm gonna be a little bit rusty. I feel like I'm gonna end up seeing that a lot. Uh, I'm also going to be making a slight change in uh, the length of the videos. Uh, I managed to pick up a job, which is very exciting for me. But that also means I'm going to have a lot less time. So, uh, I think these videos are probably going to get shortened down to about an hour, hour and a half-ish. Hopefully we'll still get a lot of progress done. And I'm thinking we'll... Uh, Well, I'll probably end up being a bit more liberal with the speed up button, which I hope is okay with you guys. So that way we can actually get a lot of... That way we can still have a fair bit of uh, progress in every episode. Uh, I think that's a plan. Not all the time, mind you, not every fight, not as we're running around in areas that, you know, are technically new to some degree, or like our current objective at least. I mean, you know, like for repeat fights and stuff, or if we're going through an area again and again, uh, then I'll probably do it. We are technically going through this again since we spent a lot of last episode climbing this up, but uh, I'm going to try and avoid doing it for this, for this retrial since that was a separate episode.
Alright. So is it a magic? I feel like there's a joke there somewhere, but uh... That's probably a joke for more intelligent people than I. <laughs> I don't know. Cool. To uh contribution actually mattered that tiny bit. Which is fascinating to see. As neither of our big guys were quite strong enough to take him out on their own. But they are still using rookie moves. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of champion level moves coming up. There we go. Tappy gained a level. Very nice, very nice. It's just booby trapped. And we got a HP driver. Not too shabby. Alright, manage to avoid any other enemies and proceed on to, what is it, the third floor we're up to now? Yes, indeedy. Alright, manage to outspeed that enemy, thank goodness. Alright, we got a fight here. And since my personal role is going to be uh, only speeding up repeat fights, instead yeah, so of the same encounters, uh, we haven't fought on this this group uh, this episode, so by that logic, unfortunately, I cannot skip uh, fast forward this one. Fast forward is what I meant when I said skip before, I just got my words mixed up. Headbutt. I'm fascinated to see more of this game though. Like, like where does the plot actually go? Like, what's the end goal here? Because right now we're kind of just defending the town from Digimon in a general sense. But it's like, but I think there's a, a war going on? But it's like, just like, us versus the wild Digimon? I don't know, it's... It's a touch confusing, to be honest, in the sense of like... What exactly is going on here, and like, what are we... Like, working our, our way up to? Hopefully, uh, we'll start getting a bit of a clearer picture soon. Oh boy, I just realized Tappy's uh, about to die. Uh, that's what happens when I don't pay attention, I guess. Hopefully we can beat these guys before they end up killing Tappy. Is the Digimon that's in the first slot like, more likely to get attacked or something? I feel like Middle Greymon always is usually the target as well. I might obviously heal up. Well, yeah. Heal up Tappy after this fight. But, uh... I mean, maybe it's just random chance. I don't know. I was thinking maybe it'd be worth swapping Tuffy around to be in, like, the third spot or something, but then Leomon just got hit, so... And Tuffy leveled up again. So, no need for concern. We got 23 experience in that. Toya and Mark are 65 away. Maybe another three battles ish, roughly. Of, well, of this caliber. Maybe less if we get to some weaker fellows. Um, curious to see what's this way. And it's a dead end. Excellent. I don't think I can get across to. Yep, alright, we're gonna speed up this fight. Thankfully didn't need to heal up Tappy and fix the level up, so... Nothing missed. And... 
There we go. Have we gained another level? We'll have to see it. Making sure to use my diagonals there. Now, just a straight line across. Fortunately, we've got another fight to speed through. We need to know exactly how this goes. I want to say, hopefully, the combat will get a little more interesting when we get to around the point of uh, having more like ultimates and stuff. But I don't really know how it's going to get more interesting. Because there isn't really a lot of strategy to it right now. And I feel like it's hard to have a ton of strategy when it doesn't really give us any info on the various moves we have available. Like it tells us how much MP they use and gives us a little description. That mod describes what the attack is than anything. Alright, now uh, battle to speed up. I think everyone's gonna level up in this next fight. Also, I think my action might be on. There we go. Might be onto something with that. Like, Mark has taken like no took like no damage from that. Toyo took a bit and Tavi had probably taken the most. But I think it might actually go in order of like first to last, like for the most part. Sometimes they go for the second one, but they almost never go for the third party member. And I might swap them around. Um uh, There we go. Uh I think that's a good. There we go. Oh, let me just. Okay. Got a couple of new moves there, which is very fun and cool. And we got a water arrow, whatever that does. Oof, that does a hundred damage per time we step over it. See where this leads us. I do not remember some of the intricacies of what we learnt last episode. Yep. Have we fought a Gabamon yet? I don't think we have, unfortunately. I say unfortunately, I could just choose to speed them up, but yeah. Oh, uh, I've had the game sound a bit quieter because of my speeding uh, along in the game a bit. Uh, I might honestly leave it as it is for the moment. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to turn the game volume back up a bit. Frankly, there isn't... It, the music isn't bad in this game, but there isn't... It is a lot of the same tracks over and over again, I will admit. And I forgot to swap the party members around like I was thinking. Well, check who has more... Oh damn, that was just a one-shot. Uh, I was gonna say, I'll check who has the more uh, defense out of Leomon and Tenemon. I would assume Leomon, but uh, we'll see. Oh, and I just assume for some reason because it's like Tenemon's like a bug. Oh, no, Tenemon, sorry, Carboteramon. Oh, what a fool I've been. Another battle dealt with. Alright, uh, 
digi line. Like, our line up. It would help if I ch did the thing I said I was going to do first and check their stats. Let's see. We have 69. Nice. We have 71. Okay. Oh. Well, I was on in one run here. Let's go ahead and go Mark, Toyo, then Tappy. Which is also, I guess, why Metal Greymon kept was the first one going down in the uh, other fights as well, last episode when we were here. But how much of this have I explored? Yeah, I thought it had been a lot. And there's like one, two, three, uh, four other paths I could still take at this point. Good lord. Alright, this is going to loop back around. And that is... Unfortunate. Uh, I guess we're going to take the long way around. I mean, we've certainly got the EP for it, so... Not the end of the world by any stretch. And I assume it was just kind of that... Yeah, okay, it just, it just link up with uh, this pathway over here. Alright, let's head down. And... Alright, speed up time. Tappy leveled up. Oh, uh, I'm still. There we go. Whoopsie. Didn't mean to keep the speed up on there. No harm done though, which is. Just... Easy enough to turn off right away. No real strategy when it comes to exploring these areas. Oh, and there it is. Hang on. So let's turn back around. I can clearly see it from here. Hell yeah. Making quick work of this domain, hopefully. Kim must be gone by now. Ah, oh, shoot, I hope not. Oh, hey, crap. Two crabs, but we're fighting on blue terrain. Which hopefully doesn't mean what. Ah, okay. Okay, cool. Uh, I was worried I'd pick the wrong target for Tappy, but it didn't matter in the end. Alright, that's a dead end. Well, for us at least, because I don't carry necessary. Uh, missiles and whatnot to get rid of them. I don't think Happy's target matters here. There's 10 experience from these fights because these guys are pretty weak, unfortunately. Unfortunately in the sense of no real gain from fighting them. definitely going to lead us the right way, because frankly I don't see any other ways for us to go. Alright. Hopefully Tappy only hits like level... doesn't hit level 11 till the very end of the domain. Otherwise we might risk uh, missing out on whatever uh, Tappy digivolves into to form, uh, to move, I mean. Here we are, at the end of a weird long corridor. Oh, here we are, boss floor. Oh, and if I remember correctly, left took us down a really long-winded path, the right did not. 
I think these boss floors are always the same. I, I think the other floors are, you know, kind of randomly generated. But the, uh... These floors are... Oh, right, we've got the yellow tread. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, new encounters, so we have... So no speeding up. The reason I'm not just speeding up through the entire game is because I do want to get some inkling of like an authentic experience playing this game. Playing this game. You know, like, if you actually owned it on a PS1, I will know your pain from this, you know? At least a little bit. You know? Because I feel like if I sped through the entire game, I would have a vastly different uh, opinion of it. Probably a better one, admittedly. But I would have a very different opinion of the game. go for the third slot. Damn. I mean, it might also have just been complete random chance and I've just decided that that's how it works, maybe. But I think I'm correct. So I might as well stick with it. Um, I'm gonna go with the same setup as before. Or, except I'm gonna get LP to attack Dremojamon. And I think this will kill. Hell yeah. Oh, and now Sub-Zero Ice Punch should be stronger. I don't think that was any stronger, but you know what, that's fine. It's meant to get stronger with every subsequent attack, but uh, maybe it's a bit more gradual. Thank you, Green. I gone in a little bit. It is quite late as I record this, but uh, frankly, it's kind of the only time I'm gonna have to record. To get this up in time. So, it is what it is. I'm gonna get substantially more busy as time goes on, I think. So, uh, hopefully, I'll keep the channel going like, like daily, but in the event that the isn't an episode uploaded, check, keep an eye on the community tab, because uh, I'll probably end up posting on there an explanation or at least an apology if I end up missing at any point. Alright. Where does this lead? Is this the correct way? I think so, that looks like the exit point. Yeah, okay, cool. I think we're gonna bust metal out for the boss fight. And let's use some items. Um Yep, and Yeah. I think that's good. You have some nerve coming to Modem Domain all alone. I'm Grimmon, the King Digimon of Modem Domain. Get on your knees and say please. What a self-centered Digimon! I'll never do such a thing. What a fool, and I will make you eat your words. Yo, the What a good song!
Alright. Yeah, good blaster at Greymon. Have a blaster at Greymon. Sub Zero Ice Punch at Greymon. We're gonna take out Greymon first, I think. Just the measly. No, oh, okay. It's only a little damage, but it's to all of them. I see. Oh. Huh. So, my phone just randomly decided to restart. And displayed a symbol I've never seen before on it. That was fascinating. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna do another Giga Blast on Greymon. Have these two focus on Toy Archimon. That's a little bit more damage, which is nice. on Saber Dramon, Overblast on Greymon, and Sub-Zero Ice Punch on Toy Archimon again. And that should wipe out those two and give us a nice start on Saber Dramon. Bye bye Greymon. Hell yeah. And bye bye Toy Archimon. And I reckon next turn we'll be able to wipe out Saber Dramon. All three of them attacking after already hitting them with the, uh, whatchamacallit. and attacks on Saber Jamon, and we'll see how many more hits it takes. Okay. That's one. This is our second attack. I'm hoping this will do it. Yeah, hell yeah. Nice, 162 experience. Mark and Toya are at level 13 now. And another 1400 bits. V Nova Blast.
we gonna run into Kim now, or is she gonna be gone? Aha! Hey, I found you! Wait, you again? Stop following me around. Go back to the generator party stuff from the city. I mean, it would just give them back like that. Besides, it's mine now. If you want it back, you have to take it from me. Oh boy, now we're fighting. Well, based on the music, it doesn't sound like it's as big a deal. So I assume she has a weaker team than that Greymon. No, not at all. Actually, these guys also look pretty tough. I feel like they got my music mixed or something. Alright, um... I guess we'll just work our way down the line. And who's about to counter. Alright, starting off with the Sub-Zero Ice Punch. That'll get more powerful though as we get further in. Ah, jeez, paralyzed? I made a good call focusing on Wizardmon first, huh? Let's see if we can avoid any of the others getting paralyzed here. I don't think I have anything to cure that in that I'm carrying either. Stun flame shot. Don't tell me she has an entire team of Digimon that's stunned. Oh boy. This is gonna be an interesting battle, isn't it? I think that's all three attacks on um, Wizardmon. Let's see how much health is left. Hopefully not much. Oh jeez, Seijimon can attack all three. Oh, okay, yeah, Wizardmon is dying this turn. Alright. Fiend Nova Blast on Seijimon as well, and we get Sub-Zero Ice Punch to take out Wizardmon. I'm a little worried about Metal Greymon's health, honestly. Oh, thank goodness, the para paralysis is cured. I'm gonna be honest, in the, what, 30 seconds since it just popped up, I immediately forgot. But there we go, Wizardmon's dealt with. Zip, boom. Something is up. I didn't quite read it in time. Might have been resistance? I don't know. These two got Seedramon down to half last turn, so hopefully they can finish it off this turn. Blaster, hell yeah. Let's take it out. Thank goodness. And on that, uh, just to be safe, it be this metal. Even though I'm sure that we'll get take care of this guy real quick. I would just like to play it safe. sure if all three attacks would be enough to take out this turn, but if not, we'll definitely have it that way by 
next turn. Just have to wait and see, I suppose. It's gonna be up to whether Giga Blaster finishes it off or not. Oh jeez, Leomon got paralyzed. Does that finish it off? Yeah! We did it. Hell yeah. I have 120 experience, so Mark and Toyo gotta level up. And Metal's starting to get to the point of it being not reasonably far, but you know, it's more and more obtainable. And another thousand bits were earned, as well as another move. Yeah, I was gonna say actually, I feel like Nova Plus is. Yeah, I figured I'd put Nova Blast up the top because it, I feel like it was probably the strongest move we have. I feel like it's probably stronger than the V Nova. Not bad at all. What's your name? Makira. You're not bad yourself. Thanks, Akira. Are you going to the Vice Dome later? No, the generator parts there. I really meant to give them back right away. Here comes the Device Dome. Resend the location of the Device Dome to your browser. What? When did you do that? Alright, and with that. We can finally return home safe and sound. Welcome back, Akira. Look after the Digi Beetle, yada yada. All cool and good. We're just gonna change up our auto save and then head straight back out to the device dome. No, wait, hang on. There we go. And now we're gonna do a little save in action. Just in case we get into any more fights and end up losing all that progress. I would very much prefer to not do that. So, there we go. Back to the main gate we go. And we're just gonna head straight out, no concern. Or anything else. Then for all systems checked and ready to go. Thanks. And we have access to the Vice Dome now. We're actually getting quite a few areas on our map here. Okay, I love the music here. I just wanted to take a moment to stop and listen to it. Alright, Zudicorn. Hey, Kara, how'd you find this place? And then Kim told me where to find it. Really? Kim told you? Hmm, that's interesting. This fort was built by those who escaped the Blood Knights during the Crimson Uprising. I know many of them decided to stay here rather than go back to the city. Kim's engineer group is real good. It was coming up with new types of items. Doug. Doug Doom? Oh, this is a device that I've been hearing about. We can buy all sorts of items. Yeah, but you can't get in the city. No one else seems to be out and about. Um, doesn't look like we can actually interact with these. I guess these are other ships or something? Or oh, Digi Beetles? Alright, let's head inside actually. Hey, Gary, you came, just like you promised. Everybody's waiting for the generator parts. See, that's all settled now. 
where he told my sister to send an engineer to the city with the parts. But now the power generator should already be fixed. It should be back to normal now. Really, Kim? It's great. Thanks. Nothing really. I'm glad you're happy. I right, my sister says she wants to meet you. Can we go and meet her? I'll introduce you. Hey sis, brought you a Kira from the city. Techna Donna. Wow, he's cute. Hello, I'm Akira. My little sister caused you a bit of a problem. I'm really sorry about that, but I really needed those parts for my experiment. But thanks for those parts, it came with a new radar system. No problems we caused, I'll give you this. It's a titanium core. I need something again. Please let me borrow them for a while, okay? Sure, thank you. Got a titanium core. Akira, that's great. Now you can upgrade your Digibutal from its steel body to a titanium body. Provided the device though, whenever you have time, I'll be waiting, okay? Alright, we're afraid to move around now. Great, I think my sister is a bit weird. She's the one who invented almost all of the items in this place. Especially the Digivolving device. You can Digivolve Digimon over any time. Isn't it fantastic? Just stop by whenever you can. Special item fighter. We have guard items that I copied from the real things. It's still sold by the teams. Want some? Like, the items from that the others sell? Or... Ooh, guess what data... And virus Digimon. I'm curious whether we can actually just use those or if we need something else in order to have them. I will hold off and buy those for the moment. If items, this is the place, check it out. Everything's one of a kind. Best there is. Want something? I want to look around before we go spending our money. Alright, a lot of these things. Yep. A lot of these common items, I mean. Alright, what is this room over here? Then we'll head back to the other room and actually talk to them. Oh, is this a Digivolving room? Oh, okay. That makes sense. What will these two make? Yeah. Maybe I'll do that, I don't know. It'll depend on whether we actually finish leveling up Metal Greymon or not, because everything online says to make sure you wait till they're fully leveled up before you combine it, because that kind of helps determine what their next max level will be, or something like that. Hey cutie, welcome. Next time you come here, can you bring me something really cool? Like an engine with super output or something like that. Okay, I'll be waiting. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have been selling off my old parts. Oops. Alright. It's working. Oh, you Digibeetle? No. You wanna work in Digibeetle? Come talk to me. So these guys will sell. Alright, this is ammo, man. So this will be parts vendor. Ooh. Tiger engine and Pegasus engine. 1600 health, 2000 health. That's a another steel body. That's a steel slash titanium body, I guess. Got a ram here that allows us to carry six Digimon. Toolbox allows us to carry 24 items. That's more than we need. I mean, if I want to start carrying a lot more presents, that's great. Chain tires, which will stop us from getting the green acid spaces from hurting us. Drill arm, which will just start some green mines. Phantom Hand, this has got the some treasure boxes at level 3, and then these two still. Um, I could afford a Tiger Engine, but I don't think we need it. And, or Chain Tires. Or the Phantom Hand. Or the presents. I. Hmm. Damn, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to buy. I don't know whether to buy any of it right now, and or to just save our money, maybe.
I'll save my money for like this moment till we have till we get our next mission, I think. Alright, um Alright, same thing as she said before. Let's go ahead and start leaving. And a great team is allowed into this place. Tell me about this place, and she must have really trusted you. Alright, this is the same thing that he's had before. So if we head back to the city now, we can report to the leader. Let's see what our next mission is, shall we? Yura, you're doing a good job. Don't hope later has been waiting for you. Please proceed to the leader's room. Will do. Yura, your great work brought the city back to normal. These power generators have been restored by engineers from Device Dome. So Kim and Technodonna kept their promises. That's right, now we can breathe easier. Here, it's helped the city's crisis along with your mission to destroy the boss Digimon. I'd like to reward you for all your great work. 2,000 bits, hell yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, wait, have you been working on your Tamer ranking? Tamer's rank shows one's level of strength. It's very important. Rank by winning the tournaments at the Coliseum. See more of your good work. Keep it up. Alright, now let's head back in to see what our next mission is. Here we've been competing in tournaments. With capabilities, you should have reached higher timer ranks, considering we've become a rank free rookie tamer. Then I'll hold off on assigning you any new missions. Roger, work hard to make the rank free rookie level. Good luck, I'll be waiting. So I see that you've found the titanium core. Created the Jupiter body yet? The correct engine, and then go, to, go see Chief Maestro. He'll take care of it. Alright, so we need a. What was it? Titanium body? I'm guessing we have to do that first as well. Which we'll do. Actually, I'm not sure if our current one is a titanium body or if it's that we need one for, for the titanium core if it needs to work. Let me just try talking to Chief Maestro. This you got a titanium core, an upgraded Digibody, Digibeetle from the steel to titanium type body. Wait up, the engine on your Digibeetle can only work in, to a, in a steel body. Upgrade to a Pegasus engine before you can upgrade to a titanium body. Make sure you go to a mechanic to put in a Pegasus engine before coming back. Got it. I'm also curious if we talk to this guy now, will the guys here also have all these new items, or is it just the ones over there? Like, are we going to have to run back and forth? Yeah, looks like we have to run back and forth. Damn. That's a mild shame, but... Oh, well. I will need to double check what price the Pegasus engine is, because... I get the feeling that we're going to need that before we can do whatever's next. I mean, we'll see. Uh, we've got the Coliseum to compete in first. Before we get into battle, we're going to equip Metal Greymon since I believe in these tournaments we don't actually earn any experience or anything. Oh, and before we go competing, I'm going to save in case we lose and it gives us game over. Thinking we might compete in this tournament, maybe see how... Uh, how much the Pegasus engine is, and if it's going to require some grinding, then maybe I'll do that grinding between episodes. Uh, I think we'll wrap up the episode soon, because 
Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to be cutting these episodes a lot shorter, I mentioned, like I mentioned earlier. And tournaments? All oh, right. That's right, I nearly forgot that we needed to enter the room on the left. Welcome, this is the Tournament Entry Application Office. Let's enter the Rank 3 Tournament. The entry fee is a thousand bits. Yep, I'm all set. Want to enter? Entry fee is a thousand bits. Go ahead to the Rank Your first round rival is waiting. Alright, hopefully we're well equipped to handle this. Otherwise, we've got a bit more grinding to do than I thought. Like, it's one thing if it's just money, but if we need levels as well, it's gonna be a, a mild pain. So you're the first round was What a piece of cake. Doug Dull. Doug Doolum. Don't think I'm going to bend over for you. Time to battle in the rain. Good luck to both of you. I keep thinking of like Doug Dimondome every time I read this guy's name. Alright, first round of battle. What kind of enemies are we facing? Three rookies. Cool, we've got this in the bag. This one at least, certainly. I'm actually gonna split off the attacks and see just uh, what kind of numbers we're doing with our damage here. Because they might be rookies, but they might also be high level rookies. You know, like well past level 11 or something. I didn't think these were gonna one shot by any means, but you know, I figure it's worth checking in case it's like, you know, a quarter or half or whatever. Give me a good idea of how to split the uh, attacks and all. Not oh, Rock Fist. Oh no. <laughs> Great. Now attack missed. Okay, so let's try and kick a blast on that one again. I reckon we'll get the other two to team up on the Scott Simon, and hopefully that'll be the end of that. How are we doing on damage so far? It was taking a little bit, the others have taken hardly anything. Alright, another Giga Blaster on a Lekmon, and I think that'll deal with that. And then, I'm just gonna get, yeah, get, yeah. I'm just gonna get these two to attack Florimon, and I'm not sure if that'll do enough, but it's hoping. I think the original attack did like a third, so surely by now it should finish it off. Oh yeah, that was already more than enough. Cool. All oh, right, because it's um, I I keep forgetting that this game does actually have like elemental like weaknesses and resistances. They just don't play as big a role as say Pokemon, nor are they as easy like easily understood. Like I could not tell you what actually beats what. I assume water beats fire, but I don't even know if water is a type. I assume so. But then is it water and ice is uh, are both separate types? I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, yeah, I can look it up on a game pack or whatever. I just mean the game doesn't tell me any of that sort of stuff. So, 
I don't know. Alright. If I needed to, if I need to, I'll go looking that stuff up, but hopefully I won't have to. No. Oh no. I can believe that. I can believe that I lost so easily. It actually says I can believe. Huh. Must be listening to my touch, but I'm still a bad tamer. I'll rise from the ashes. Next time I won't go so easy on you. I'll show you the real me. He's all talk. The next challenger awaits. Who's next in line? I hope it's not Mr. Zudocorn. It's whoever this is. Sheena. Oh, you have entered this tournament too. I got lucky and made it to the second round. There's Goozy on me. Okay. Time to battle in the ring. Good luck to both of you. And off we go for our second match. Tarmon, Demi Devimon, and Gazumon. I assume the third round's gonna have like champions, right? Because like Kim had champion Digimon. It's gonna be weird if in the third round of this tournament uh, that takes place after beating her, it's just kind of nothing. Right. I'm gonna split it up so Metal attacks so Tarmon. The other two will hopefully take out. Either take out or do a lot of damage to Demi Demi Mon. 45 damage, good lord. I've not been paying the most attention to our numbers, but we have been doing some crazy numbers, I think. Yeah, 56. Yeah, that's enough to kill. Stun bubble. We did a whopping 9 damage, uh, but it did confuse us, so I'm a little concerned about that. Oh jeez, he hit himself. God damn it. I don't know whether it's better to just not have him attack or not. I'm gonna keep trying, I guess, and hope that it doesn't come back to bite me. Because presumably you can break free or whatever of it. Like, if paralysis just cures on its own, presumably the confusion will too. With that, Gazimon's defeated. Otamamon missed his attack. And. Will we hit. Oh, jeez. I was gonna say, will we hit the enemy? And, uh. The answer is no. I'm just gonna have him guard for this turn. What? Why are you attacking? Oh, goddammit, he kinda just does what he wants. Awful. I hate it. Why did your attack miss? Why did both of your attacks miss? No, don't confuse multiple. Oh my god, Metal's gonna die from your own stupid attacks. I mean, it doesn't matter what I tell it to do. Because clearly, it went for it doing its own thing. Just to hope two people can hit it. Before anyone hits metal. Please. Please hit Otama. Come on. I beg of you. No, that's the wrong person. You'd think I'd have like one in four odds or something, right? I assume it's probably more like, like an 80% chance of some nonsense. Well, Metal took himself out. 
Even if I told Mark to guard, I'm sure he would still attack anyway, so... Might as well tell him to try and hit the guy. Not that guy. I've done more damage to myself than these guys have done to me. We now have to get through the last round. We have two Digimon, and I'm praying that statuses like Confusion don't carry over. Otherwise, we are maybe not getting through the next round. It was no match for you, Akira. I shouldn't feel too bad losing to you, but actually, I am sorry that I lost. Hope I'll be able to give you a better fight next time. Till then, goodbye. Tough luck for her. Your next opponent is waiting. Bertrand again? Isn't that Akira? Oh, it's you again. I'm gonna avenge my loss at the rank 2 tournament. I'm taking you down. And the battle in the rain. Let's have a clean fight. I have the feeling I may be screwed for this one. Raymon, Gavamon, and Penguinmon. Another three rookies, so... Oh, thank god, the confusion's gone. Alright, so we have a chance. I'm just gonna get these two to team up on each one, and hopefully one by one, knock them all down. It's a little scary doing this fight. Uh, 2 vs 3, but not much else we can do about it. I was not paying attention. I briefly got distracted by something, so... Uh... Did not fully pay attention to that. Okay, we did not beat Ramon. In that case, I will never blast the Gavamon. And sub zero Ice Punch the Ramon. Oh, Mark got confused. I really did not pay attention to that at all, did I? Okay. On, I mean, I'm glad it was the weaker move. Well, that's one of theirs down. Oh boy, Kabuterimon is maybe not lasting much longer. Uh, what if I tell it to Electroshocker? Maybe it'll listen to that? Thank god, I was so terrified it would interrupt my move. Yes? Lower tech power. Nice. Okay, so if they're confused, they can still interrupt pretty good at least. Alright, let's go back to Electro Shocker and. I want to keep going with Sub Zero Ice Punch, I think, because I assume it is a bit stronger 
than uh, Rockfist would be, even if Rockfist does have some sort of typing advantage. Oh, the, with the, the, you know, every attack is a bit more powerful, whatever stuff. Uh, I assume Sub Zero Ice Punch is just better, gonna be better to stick to. Now with Electro Shocker as well, low attack battle. There, low attack power. No, 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 hang on. Make sure Shocker and Sub Zero Ice Punch on Gabamon. That will hopefully take out Gabamon. Yes, indeed. And yes, we want to interrupt. This was actually pretty tough, but uh, figuring out that the in interrupt uh, can get around the confusion actually made this pretty interesting. Like, I actually felt like I had some, I, I don't know, agency in this fight, I guess. A bit more than the usual, just mash buttons and hope my numbers do better, which usually they do. Hell yeah, with that we win. It was the first like couple fights where like it actually started to feel like it could go either way. Which was actually really fun. Don, how can I lose to you twice? I can beat you. It won't happen again. I must defeat you and become the hero. Legend, don't be so hard on yourself. Next time, I will be the winner. Don't you forget it. Haha, <laughs> dumbass kid. Congratulations, Akira. Now you are rank 3 rookie tamer. Thanks, Leomon. Now I'm a rookie rank tamer. That's right. You have a lot of potential. Train hard. Here's a prize for winning the tournament. It's a toy boat. Fuck yeah. Alright, let me head to Godhawk and see if we can accept our next mission, or if we actually do need to upgrade the engine first. Ooh, it's a cutscene. You're my rank 3 rookie tamer. Yes, I heard. Well done. For a new rookie rank tamer, I have a new mission. Lately, a group of wild Digimon have moved near the city from deep in Directory Continent. Your next mission is to... Godhawk Leader, we have an emergency, sir. Godhawk Leader, the Blood Knights have been spotted. Godtama is engaged in a battle with a Blood Knights Digibeetle right now. The enemy Digibeetles have been sighted in disc, video, and SCSI domains. The crazy Blood Knights have reappeared. Well, all the Goldhawk Tamers, we begin Operation Blood Knights now. Yes sir, we begin Operation Blood Knights immediately. Goldhawk Leader, who are the Blood Knights? Blood Knights are a mysterious army that attacked our digital city 30 years ago. Weren't they all captured in that battle? They captured most of them, but their leader, Crimson, escaped. Crimson and a group of their officers escaped to somewhere deep in Directory Continent. I see. The Blood Knights lead, led by Crimson, are fiercely strong. The Digital City has the guard teams. Combine the power of the of all three guard teams, the Blood Knights have nothing to fear. The Hulk Akira, you must seek and destroy the Blood Knights hiding in their domains. Yes sir, I'll get to it. Oh! Akira, the Blood Knights are finally back again. Alright, I'll take care of all them sissy blood knights. By the way, I'll just you to a new kid who recently joined the Goldhawks. 
Lucky Lewis, this is Akira. Not as good as me, but he's a pretty decent tamer. Hi, I'm Lucky Lewis. I'm pleased to meet you. Might be Louis, but I'm gonna say Lewis. I'm gonna train hard in order to become a cool tamer like you and Bertrand. Nice to meet you. Good luck. Oh, this guy's got potential. I'm like someone I know. He'll be a real tamer in no time. Better train hard so you don't fall behind Lewis. Lucky Lewis. Let's go out and adventure in a domain. Roger, Bertrand. Bertrand, why can't you be nice to Akira? And did you buy everything you need before leaving? Hey Bertrand, listen. Alright, see ya Joy Joy. Alright. Well, we have a new mission. Uh, we're not gonna head off just yet. I'm not going to end the episode just yet though, I want to go to the Vice Dome and check out the uh, price for the other, en uh, other, what was it, engine? Yeah, the Pegasus engine that we need in order to you, uh, install that titanium core. Cool, so video domain, SCSI domain and disk domain are our next objectives. Which we'll get to next episode. No. Okay, cool. Girl named Technodon in the factory on the right. She's supposed to be a genius inventor, but she sure is a weird girl. I agree. Oh, this is not what I wanted. I wanted the, uh, that's right, I did want the room on the right, where the, uh, whatchamacallit. That's where the, uh, people are, with the, the parts vendor. That's what I'm looking for. Now, I've realized that the parts vendor always has the light, lighter, like, white-ish cap, whereas the ammo man always has the blue cap. So I should hopefully stop talking to ammo man by mistake. So the Pegasus engine, was that the 20,000? Yeah, it is. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Love that. Well, we're gonna board the crane box, which I'm actually kind of considering. Nah, not yet. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna buy some presents that work for the other types of Digimon, so we can hopefully get a few more. And build up our roster of Digimon by a little bit. I don't know if we can use them yet, but I figure eventually we will. Let's see. That's the better one here. I'm just gonna buy like three, four of each. We've got two of these, so I'll buy just two more. There we go. Alright, that should be good. Now we're gonna go ahead and... Sorry for borrowing the generator parts without asking. Thanks to the parts, my sister found a new way to increase the power of her radar. I would like to get that, but uh, it's definitely gonna take a while of us getting our stuff all together. Alright, let's go into Digital City. Because I believe I need to do that in order to transfer items back and forth. And because I'm planning to save it in a moment anyway. Yeah, so next time we're gonna end up getting all those domains. Hitting up all those domains. Hopefully being able to recruit some new Digimon as well. Uh, and just all around hopefully making a bit more cash money as well. From the server. Two of each. Alright, and I've left just three empty spaces. 
not great, but hey. I don't know what Junk Parts does exactly. Uh, I'm thinking also that we're gonna leave metal in the server and oh, sorry transfer we're gonna transfer metal to the server just so that way next episode we can hopefully recruit a couple Digimon at a time and uh, maybe get some data and virus Digimon start getting a bit more of a mixed team getting some more weird options available for us at the DNA Digivolution. So thank you all so much for watching I'll see you all in the next episode when we're gonna go and potentially take on a Blood Knight as well as do next is probably gonna be a lot of us training up uh, Grinding, I guess, for a bit of extra money as well. Getting recruiting new Digimon, leveling them up. I'm probably gonna use a lot of speed on next episode. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in that next episode. Bye bye.